the role of the supervisor starts with a good project first of all it should be a challenging project for the student it should also be a challenging project for the supervisor themselves uh, because being challenged is the main driver for being enthusiastic about doing something and trying to discover something new. I think it's, it's great to, as I say, collaborate with other people and share research. Um, it's good to see other people learning techniques from you and at the same time you learn how other people work and uh, so this learning process in both ways is, is very important, I think. I think, I think it's important to understand uh, the other person's needs. So the kind of way of supervising should be adapted according to how the student approaches the problem and the amount of supervision, if you want, or guidance, at least at the beginning, is very depending on how the student approaches the, the project and the supervisor themselves. Yes, so this is a very interesting question. I think, I think there are two things that students should know. The first one is, as I said, the type of relationship they want to have with the supervisor. So if they are looking for something like a daily um, exchange of ideas or of supervision or something on, on a longer on a longer term so uh, weekly meetings bi-weekly meetings and so on because the workload of supervisors can be uh, very different from supervisor to supervisor the second thing I would suggest is to uh, to be creative uh, whenever the project is proposed and if there is a possibility to uh, apply with a cover letter or even with a short research proposal, I would strongly suggest to be creative and throw in your own ideas into the research proposal. Mm -hmm.